Assalamu alaikum friends. Today in this important video lecture, I am going to talk about how to find area of column footing. That is why because some students are asking that sir, if we have 200 by 200 millimeter size of RCC column, so what should be the area of column footing? So this is the topic for today. If the video is helpful for you, so like the video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon. Remember, if you don't press the bell icon, then you are not able to get any video from Civil Engineers YouTube channel. So bell icon press is very important for every civil engineering students. Let's start. So before starting the video, I will tell you size of for size of RCC footing, okay, or for size of column footing, we need some important data. By that we can find the area of footing, right? So given data to find area of footing given data. Suppose guys, this is RCC column, which size is square column, suppose 150 millimeter and this side is also 150 millimeter. So now what should be the size of footing? this side and this one, right? So this is the column in the center, okay? Which size is 150 centimeter, 150 millimeter by 150 millimeter, okay? So what, be, what will be the size of, what will be the size of this footing? So we need some important data. Okay, first of all, we required to find load of structure. Load of structure which called P. Load which become on this footing that is called load of structure. Its symbol is P. And the other we need to find, we required soil bearing capacity are bearing capacity of soil. Are soil bearing capacity. SBC, soil bearing capacity, right? And the last one we need size of RCC column. Size of column. Right, so here Suppose the P is, okay, the P is 2000 kilonewton. This is the load of structure, okay, on this footing or on this column, right, which size is 150 by 150 millimeters, okay. Now we need to find bearing capacity of soil from lip, okay. So when we test the soil and we find its bearing capacity because we have different types of soil and different soil is different bearing capacity. Suppose bearing capacity of the soil is 150 kilonewton per meter square, 150 millimeter per meter square and the size of the column is already 150 by 150. 150 millimeter by 150 millimeter. So this is the formula to find now, formula to find area of footing. That's area of footing area of footing is equal P divided by SBC. P is the load and divide by SBC, soil bearing capacity, okay. So first of all, we will increase and we will put uh, factor of safety, factor of safety in this. For example, I have to increase 10%, uh, okay. So this is factor of safety, factor of safety, okay. That should be, for example, 10%, okay. So it will give us uh, P is equal after this, okay. P is equal 0 0.1 multiply 2000, so is equal 200. Here, so 200 plus 
2000 plus 200 because I increased. Okay, so total is 200, 2200, right? Kilonewton. Right? Now you can find P divided by P is 200, uh, 2200 and Cell bearing capacity is 150. So now what will be the area of RCC footing? Okay. So 200, 2200 divided by 150. So we need 14.66. 14.66 meter square okay so what should be the size of this so now you can take under root on this under root 14.66 we need this side this is size of footing that is 3.82 meter so say 4 meter and this side is also 4 meter Okay, take under root, so side, take under root on area, that is what 14.66, okay, so it will come 3.82, so say each side is 4 meter, 4 meter, so this is very important how to find area of RCC column. Guys, if you have any question about this video, so you just comment, I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye. But remember, if you need how to find depth of footing, so the link is in the description of this video. Just click on this link and get how to find depth of RCC footing. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.